Welcome back to our channel, Books Are Us, Bilingual Library, here with Miss Pinedo. Today, we're going to read the story about the little red hen. Are you guys ready to start? We are going to sit up straight. We put our listening ears on. We zip our lips. Zip. And we put on our special, special goggles so we don't miss anything that is going to happen in the story. Let's begin. Little Red Hen. Little Red Hen was walking down the road with her friends, the goose, the cat, and the pig. She looked down and she saw a few grains of wheat. Say hi to Little Red Hen, everybody. Look, she's picking up the grains of wheat. Quickly, she picked them up and asked, who will help me plant this wheat? And the goose Look at the goose right here. The goose said, Not I, said the goose. I'd rather swim in the pond. Meow. Not I, said the cat. I'd rather take a nap in the hay. And Not I, said the pig. I'd rather lie in the mud. So did they help her? Pick up the grains of wheat. They did not. Then I shall do it myself, said Little Red Hen. And she did. Look. Time went by and the wheat grew. And so did the weeds. Little Red Hen went to her friends and asked, who will help me pull the weeds? Look, look at all the weeds right here. And the goose said, not I, said the goose. I want to swim in the pond. Meow, not I, said the cat. I want to take a nap in the hay. Not I, said the pig. I want to play in the mud. Then I shall do it myself, said Little Red Hen, and she did. Look, she's working so hard pulling the weeds. She is sweating because she's working on a very, very hot day. Look at the sun. Summer, the wheat grew taller and taller and it turned from green to golden. Look, here's the wheat. At last, it was time to harvest the wheat. A little red hen asked, Who will help me cut the wheat? Not I, said the goose. I want to swim in the pond. Not I, said the cat. I want to take a nap in the hay. Not I, said the pig. I want to play in the mud. Did they help poor little red hen? That's right. Nobody helped her. Then I shall do it myself, said little red hen. And Little Red Hen cut the wheat and put it into a large sack. It was time to take it to the mill to be ground into flour. Look at that. She's doing all that hard work all by herself. Do you think that's fair? I don't think so either. Little Red Hen asked, Who will help me take the wheat to the mill? And the goose said, not I, I want to go swim in the pond. Then the cat said, 
Meow. Not I. I want to take a nap in the hay. And the piggy said, I want to play in the mud. So nobody helped her. How do you think that makes her feel? Sad. I know. Then I shall do it myself, said Little Red Hen. And she did. Look, she took it to the mill to be ground, ground it into flour. The next day they came, a Little Red Hen was hungry. She called her friends once more. And she asked, who will help me bake this flour into bread? She wanted to make bread with the flour. And guess what her friends said? Not I, said the goose. I'm gonna go swim in the pond. Meow. Not I, said the cat. I'm gonna go take a nap in the hay. And then the piggy said, No, I'm gonna go play in the mud. And once again, nobody helped poor little red hen. Then I shall do it myself, said little red hen. And she did. Look, she made the bread and now she's gonna put it here in the fire so she can bake the bread and then eat it. At last, the bread was baked and Little Red Hen carried the bread to the table. And once more, she asked her friends, who wants to help me eat this bread? And the goose said, yes, me, I would like some bread. And the cat said, meow. Yes, yes, can I please get some bread? And the piggy said, I'm hungry, can I please have some bread? And what do you think poor little red hen is gonna say? Do you think that she should share the bread with them? I know, let's see what happens in the story. Pay attention everybody. So now all the friends one, a slice of bread. And Little Red Hen said, Oh, no, you won't. I found the wheat. I planted it. I weeded it. And when it was time to harvest it, I did that too. I took it to the mill to be ground into flour. And I baked it into bread. Now I am going to eat it with my family. And she did. Look, this is Red Little, Red Little Hen with her baby chicks. And they are enjoying their bread. Now, I want you guys to think about the story. What was your favorite part? Who was your favorite character? Do you think that Little Red Riding Hood should have shared the bread with her friends? Or maybe not? We're gonna think, 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 think and get ready to share our answers. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get more fun and engaging read-alouts. Thank you, everybody. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>